Yo, what's up guys? So we're here to showcase off the new heroes and they are pretty insane. Just watch what you're going to be able to do with them. Basically, they are kind of like Crystal Beasts, but you can still make a lot of stuff with, of course, the new support. I'm hoping we'll get more new fusions uh, for the Vision heroes. But this duel is absolutely amazingly hype, so get ready for it. But uh, anyways, I want to go ahead and actually start making some extra deck monsters. But... Basically how the new vision heroes are, they're basically like crystal beasts whenever you take damage. Um, when they're in your graveyard, you're just going to put them in your back row. But anyways, we end up with the board with a Shadow Mist, a Decimator, and a Dion. But Decimator is going to boost up all the monsters here. And we have a pretty decent little field. Dion uh, does have an effect where if it uh, destroys monster by battle, it gets some bonus. But unfortunately, he gets Kaiju'd uh, via the effect of the slumber. So he basically lost his entire board. You might be thinking, like, how is he supposed to come back from this? Obviously, the person playing Crusadia is going to be making their boss monster, and it's got 7,000. Now it's 8,000 attack. How are you going to be coming back for that? Well, I told you guys, they're Crystal Beasts, basically. So you put them in the back row whenever you take some damage. And then the following turn... Just go ahead and summon a monster. You're going to go ahead and activate that effect. Uh, that effect is actually pretty good. It lets you target one of the uh, banished ones and add it back to your hand. But now we're going to go ahead and start special summoning a bunch of the heroes. Because, well, they were in the back row. Now we're going to go ahead and start bringing out our other boys uh, by tributing some of the cards. This card is basically like the Crystal Beast. Uh, almost like a carbuncle. Let's you uh, tribute it and then target two of the ones in the back row. Special summon. And then he goes ahead and protects his card. But he done goof because, well... Your boy Vision Hero Trinity just is able to attack uh, <laughs> a second and third time. Uh, but it can't attack directly. You should have let that card go, man. <laughs> he done goofed. Yo, drop a like on this video for that play alone. But we're not done yet, guys. But uh, pretty cool stuff. And shout out to my homie Trex for that play. That was a really good one. Uh, the next one I want to showcase off is uh, really utilizing... Uh, the other new hero. Well, you guys will see it here very soon. And it's basically utilizing as a discard outlet to really showcase off how strong Plasma can be. Because uh, if you guys don't uh, remember, a long time ago, Plasma was actually a really, really hype card. And you summon that card and you would just like win. It was like a win condition on its own. But look at this. He's going to stop cards from the extra deck. And he's also got the Vandy's Ruler. But we're going to go ahead and say no to that courtesy of Unpermanence. We'll go ahead and summon the Solid Soldier. And then Shroud is going to be activating that effect. Uh, it's the Ferris that really enables a lot of these plays. Because Ferris lets us discard a other hero monster to special summon. And it is also level 5. But it's mostly the ability to place a vision hero monster from your uh, deck in your face up spell and trap zone as a continuous trap. So it gives you that outlet, but we're really utilizing it for the, the special summon as well as discarding maybe Mally or any other card, in this case Shadow Mist, uh, to get that bonus effect. And then like his opponent like opened up with a board which was like a you can't play board and then we just went ahead and snatch stole his Vandy's ruler and this card, uh, the reason why it was so good is it negates the effects of face up monsters uh, while your opponent controls them. So basically your opponent has a bunch of vanillas and then you get a boost of attack because it gains attack equal to the half of the monster that you snatch stole. So that's a really good setup over there. But we got a few more plays uh, courtesy of Posk over here. So shout outs to him uh, for his build because there's two different builds uh, that we'll be showcasing off. Um, the Crystal Beast build, however, it does have that downside of obviously it, it, it takes like one turn to really ramp it up. This one's going to be a little bit faster. Um, depending on your playstyle, you can decide what you want to go for. Uh, but it, it's just so interesting to see that the new hero stuff is all about having them as crystal beasts. But uh, anyways, Dystopia over here uh, does have altered attack uh, courtesy of the equip. Um, but uh, it's going to go ahead and go away because we got Acid coming out over here. Let's just destroy all the spell and trap cards our opponent control. And then there's a small like uh, boost of 300 attack, which can't help. But he's going to go ahead and summon Sorceress. He's going to go ahead and Vion over there. And uh, he's got Dystopia Guy, well, once again, doing some small amount of burn damage, and he's going to go ahead and equip that. And because of that uh, attack modifier, he's able to target one card on the field, pop it, and then obviously with no monsters left on the field, your boy Dark Magician looking pretty good. And then you ha also have the Apollosa, the Bow of the Goddess, which will negate anything. Like, these new heroes are actually really scary in terms of how much potential that they do have. Um, because Plasma, again, it's one of those cards where I would say... If your opponent can't get rid of it, you probably have won the game, but usually when you go for Plasma, you have to absorb something, right? 
Um, but we also happen to have the uh, Dragonox, the Empowered Warrior, which is another warrior card that you can search out. Uh, but the reason why this card is actually pretty excellent is if you go for a first turn Plasma, uh, it has a really good effect over here. Uh, as a pendulum effect, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can destroy this card, then end the battle phase. So it can protect some of your smaller cards, which uh, well, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and check out. But uh, we have Apolosa over here, and uh, we also have the Dystopia. So he's going to go ahead and activate that effect of the Bigfoot. And then we're going to go ahead and summon Dark Loss, so he loses that card, unfortunately, for him. And then he's going to go ahead and activate MST on Dragonox, so no effect here. Uh, but uh, Shrat is going to go ahead and search out a another monster. We've got Plasma and Bubble Man, and he's going to go ahead and negate the effect of the Alistair. And he's going to go ahead and attack. And then obviously with this, it's a quick effect. If its uh, attack is changed, you're going to be able to just pop a card. Really good stuff. Like when you combine this with a bow, that's sometimes two to three negates. And obviously that's uh, really good. And then going for some extra burn damage and then Phoenix Blading once again so we can pop a card. And then we've got Plasma coming out negating the effects of all of our opponent's stuff. We're going to go ahead and Snatch Steal our opponent thing. And then just go ahead and pop the last card, and with no monsters left on the field. Like, the new hero stuff is not bad. Um, again, th this build over here is just really utilizing that one specific card. Yo, another matchup against the Crusadias. I love seeing this deck lose. <laughs> well, because every time I play against the deck, all they do is make that one boss monster, and then if you get over it, they just lose. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's a, a not very interesting deck to lose up against, because they always OTK you. Every time I play against the deck, they always have the combo, but... It's not, it's not like it's that inconsistent. It's very consistent to pull off the combo. But, uh, okay, Dragonox is going to showcase off how good he is. Unfortunately, getting Kaijued in this scenario, because this card is supposed to protect the Plasma, but it's pretty hard to stop the Kaijus. But we have the Form Change. going to go ahead and go into a Dark Loss, so everything is going to start getting banished. Then whenever he's searching a card, he's going to get that effect of um, Dark Law, getting rid of the card. So he goes with Regulix, and then uh, Equimax. And then he's going to go and boost it up, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and attack Dark Law. But this card is going to go ahead and say no to that. But he's going to go ahead and stop that effect, but that gets stopped by the Impermanence over here. It's saving the day, and, uh, well, this card still has a decent amount of attack, so he's going to go ahead and make the Apollosaur, which uh, has multiple negates now that we've used uh, a few monsters here. And we're going to go ahead and attack right over that monster, and attack over directly. And we're actually seeing Hero Blast see some play here. Uh, again, uh, in this build, it's mostly just show showcasing off the enabler of the discard outlet for Bally or um, the Shadow Mist. Uh, but in this instance, uh, it's, it's game over for our opponent over here. Death by the Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Obviously, we had plays in Man Phase 2 if the off chance that he was supposed to do anything. But yo, shout out to Posca and shout out to my boy Trex for these plays. Now, if you guys want the deck profiles, we're going to go ahead and go over both of them. Now, the first build that you guys saw did use more of the new stuff. Uh, again, I feel like it is a slower build, but you can open up the doors for a lot of crazy plays. So don't don't sleep on it, man. The new heroes are pretty scary and insanely good. Uh, but again, sometimes, like a lot of you guys have probably experienced, you wait one turn, Yu-Gi-Oh, you lose. But uh, anyways, onwards with uh, this build, which is the first one that you guys saw. So we're playing a Honest Neos, we're playing two copies of Mali, uh, two copies of Ferris, which is like one of the best ones. Again, being able to discard either this or this enables you for a lot of plays, even if you were to even go back to the older builds of Heroes where people would play Miracle Fusion, that can be another option if you would like to do that as well. Um, and then of course you have Stratos, Gotta have Stratos, and then uh, three copies of Solid Man, three copies of Shadow Mist, three copies of Viom, uh, two copies of the Gravito. So this is the one where I almost want to say it's kind of like a Carbone. I mean, it targets two of your Vision Hero Monster cards in the back row, and then you get to special summon them. And then uh, Minimum Array over here. Uh, it's basically they all have the same effect. Where um, if you take battle damage. <clears throat> via a uh, card effect or a battle, you get to place it in their back row. But uh, anyways, so you can tribute a hero monster to special summon this card, and if it's special summon this way, you can destroy a level four or lower monster your opponent controls. And then we have the increase over here. So uh, if this card is special summoned from this opponent's spell and trap zone, you can special summon another level four or lower vision hero monster from your deck, which this card enables further combos, as you guys can 
see from the, obviously the first one. And then Poisoner over here, uh, it lets you half the attack of one uh, monster on the field. So it potentially opens up the door for more of those Vision Hero Trinity plays, which I, I, I love seeing this card. Uh, with, you know, obviously a 5k attack and it can attack three times. But remember, it can't attack directly. The other guy probably never saw this card and didn't expect it, which was awesome. Uh, for, of course, that replay. Then we have the uh, Multiply guy over here. And uh, his effect is that uh, he can have one monster on the field gain 800 attack. So you can boost up the attack and then you can half the attack. And, uh, you know, obviously it, with the other build with the equip, you're able to uh, pop cards. So maybe you can mix these two different builds here. And they'd be pretty cool. Uh, but then we've got three copies of Ecall. Then we've got Polly. Cars reinforce my army, reborn two copies of the vision release. So this one's just like, uh, what is the card? Let's use special one from Crystal Beast. Again, these are literally just our Crystal Beast cards revamped here. Uh, and then we have the, the new vision fusion. So this one just lets you fusion. Uh, and then we got three copies of Mass Change, three copies of Called, and then Form Change, and Apparition, which is one of the newer cards. So if a face of pure monster control is destroyed by battle by card effect, you just summon level 4 lower vision hero from your deck. Then you can half the attack and defense of one monster opponent controls. Again, th th that's like kind of how they want to play. I feel like this card's a little slow, but uh, one is not that bad. And for the extra, we got Dion, Adoration, uh, Anki, Divine Wind, Acid, Trinity, Koga, Dark Law uh, at 2. And then we have Blast, uh, Warload. The extra Hero Dread Decimator, uh, Extra Hero Wonder Driver, and then Extra Hero Cross Guy, and Witchling. And then for the other build, which was more focused on the Plasma, we're only running uh, the Ferris here and the Fusion Destiny. Uh, this is another one of the uh, newer cards. But uh, anyways, Plasma, two cups of Mali, the Enabler, uh, Ferris, and then we got Shadows, Celestial, uh, and then we got the Dracornox, and then three copies of Solid Man, uh, three copies of Shadow Mist, one uh, two copies of Vio. Uh, three copies of new space connector. We need we need that dolphin right. I put that right next to because this is like part of the build. Then we got uh, bubble man. Two copies of butter spy. It's just more like the uh, level four spammable cards. Uh, and then we have uh, two copies of jump forward. Three copies of hero kid. And we got dark angel. Then honest neos. And then hero lives. And three copies of ecall. And we have reinforcement army. Poly form change. Three copies of fusion destiny. Two copies of mass change. And then Moon Mirror Shield, Divine Sword, Phoenix Blade, Living Fossil, and three Impermanence, which, well, that card is very good. Uh, so, Posca wanted me to mention this. Uh, we didn't really get to see it here, but Destiny Hero Dark Angels, this is what he said. He said, it's secretly OP unless he meets Link Karibo. And so the effect of this is if you have three or more Destiny Hero monsters in your graveyard, you can discard this card, then target a Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard and special summon it to your opponent's field in defense position, obviously with Summon Sorceress, that's pretty good. Uh, and then when a spell card or effect you activate resolves which would obviously be on your opponent's board uh, negate that effect and if you do or if it did not have an effect destroy that card then during your standby phase you can banish this card and one destiny here monster from your graveyard and then uh, each player chooses one normal spell card and then places it on the top of their deck so that could be useful for it, kind of locking your opponent out and i mean i more likely they're just going to use it as material so i don't know how i feel about that but it, potentially it can have some uh, use for, of course, that effect. Um, now, for this one's extra deck, we have Dion, Dystopia Guy, Anki, uh, Divine Wind, Aston, Dark Law, uh, Blast, Dangerous, Mannequin Cat, the Apolorsa, Summa Sorceress, Extra Wondo Driver, uh, Extra Hero, Cross Guy, Sold, two copies of that. And these are cards probably he was just thinking about and messing around with. But yo, shout out to both of you guys for hooking me up with those plays. I really like both of the builds. Let me know, guys, what you would change in either one of these builds or which build that you guys like to see the most. Obviously, the Crystal Beast one is, is, is definitely more unique. But sometimes, guys, all it takes is one card, obviously in this build, to make something just so much more playable. Like, Plasma was a legendary Yu-Gi-Oh card. Um, and it's still very good, even now. I mean, negating the effects of everything your opponent has, it's not bad in 2019. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the plays. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards gameplay when they come out. And if you guys got any cool replays, I love seeing what you guys in the community send in. Send in to replays at gmail.com. But anyways, thanks for watching, and peace.